and welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is going to be a basic video. Everyone needs to know how to cook rice. I've had a lot of people send me private messages. I've had a lot of people leave me comments on my videos. Can you please show me how to cook rice? So I'm making a dinner tonight that I'm going to make rice along with. So Rick says, have you ever done a rice video? And I said, no. And he said, then I think you need to do a rice video. So instead of combining the two, I'm going to make two separate videos, upload them at the same time, and then we'll go from there. So this is how I make rice. This is what you do to make rice. Our family enjoys rice, and leftover rice is never a problem in our house. Rick enjoys eating leftover rice in the morning reheated with some milk and sugar. So this is a one-pound bag of rice. I don't need the nasty comments. This is long-grain rice. This, is a t this bag has approximately two and a half cups in it. That's what's in this bag. The one thing I always do when I make long grain rice, I rinse the rice. This really helps to reduce the amount of starch because there's a lot of starch around the outside of the rice. And then you see, you can see, there's, there's a piece of rice that didn't get all of its outer hull taken off of it. And then it's just nice to rinse that dust off. It does cut down on the stickiness. You will have fluffier rice if you rinse it. And I like to get my hands in here. It also gives you an opportunity to pick out any pebbles or stones or foreign matter. Because let's face it, rice is a natural product. It comes from a basically a wet field. Um, and it's, a, it's good to, you know, it's been cleaned in, in the process. But... It's nice sometimes to just go through it, and if you see anything hinky, you can just pull it out. It also gives you the opportunity, if you've had rice in storage, it gives you the opportunity to check it and make sure there are no um, critters helping themselves to your rice, and, you know, pick them out or toss it or whatever you're going to do with it. Um, mostly those critters... They don't eat a lot, and they're, they're protein, so, you know, in an SHTF situation, you might not be throwing those critters away. Just close your eyes and eat. You might just be making soup. Don't think about it too much. The boiling water is going to kill them. The boiling water is going to sanitize them. And it's not going to hurt you that much. Part, don't, don't get me wrong. The thought of eating insects is not pleasant to me, but... I do know that it's not going to hurt me. See, like, here's another one of those little rice grains that still has this outer hull on it. And those will not hurt you either. Just for a few minutes, cool water. It really does make a difference in the quality of your finished product. Ooh, sorry, babe. Alright. Just give it a bounce. Get all that extra liquid off of there. And I'm going to put it right inside my bowl. Now over here, this is two and a half cups of rice when you're making long grain rice. You always follow the two to one rule. One part rice, two parts water. So I have two and a half cups of rice and over here I have five cups of water. And it is cold water. Now I'm going to put it to boil. I am going to put a generous amount of salt. I don't want anybody commenting. Rice and potatoes are best friends with salt. If you are on a salt restricted diet, you obviously know to leave it out. But this is kosher salt and sea salt also has less sodium than iodized salt because they come from two different places. So, <clears throat> give it a stir. That salt's gonna dissolve anyway. And the secret, you watch any number of Latin American people cook their rice, they will always tell you to put a couple of tablespoons of oil in the water. The oil is going to sit on the top of this water, and as it comes to a simmer, when you get ready to put your rice in there, the rice is going to go in, and it's going to become coated with the oil. And during 
the steaming process, it is less likely to stick together. So oil and rinsing, my two very favorite things to do when I cook rice. Now I'm going to let this come to a boil and I'm going to come back when it's time to put the rice in the pot. Okay, our, our rice water's come to a boil, so now I'm just going to take the rice that we rinsed earlier and I'm going to get it all in the pot. I'm going to give it a good stir. Make sure everybody is in that water and oil party. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on it. And when it comes, I, I've turned it down to medium. I'm going to simmer this. And when it's time to turn it off, I'm going to come back and show you what it's supposed to look like. And hopefully you'll be able to see it through the lid. Because you do not remove the lid from this point on until you're ready to serve it. So you're going to boil it until most of the water is absorbed. And if you have a pot with a glass lid, that's the best. Because what you'll see is you'll see hardly any water. And you'll see little pock marks in the, in the rice. Little holes. And when you see those little holes, you need to turn off the heat take it off of the hot burner and let it sit and steam for 15 to 20 minutes and then you'll be ready to serve it and fluff it with a fork and I'll show you exactly how beautiful it looks when that happens so I'll bring you back before I turn it off and take it off the burner okay do you see what that looks like do you see these bubbles are very slowly coming to the surface here and the rice has gotten fluffy and it's gotten bigger now you turn off the burner. I did that just before he turned the camera on. And you do this. You leave it there for 15 minutes and then you eat. That's how you make rice. Give it a try. I'm going to show you what the rice looks like, but it's, and I'll, I'll come back and show you what it looks like right before I serve it. So I'll see you in a little while. Rice is done. And pry off the lid. And look, beautiful, fluffy, perfect rice. And you can have rice just like this if you follow my guidelines. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you. And right, Rick is like the expert on rice. Not really, I just used to eat it every day. Rick used to be married to a girl from the pan from Panama, so... They are serious about their rice there. And there you have it. Their grains are not stuck together and it's nice and light and fluffy and perfect. And that is how you make rice. I hope you try this. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see ya.